tell us a little bit about Heffron and the school community there. Uh, Heffron is a school on Chicago's west side, uh, right outside uh, Garfield Park. Um, it's a pre-K through eight school, uh, so very family oriented. Most of the students uh, kind of walk together uh, in groups with either extended family members, brothers, little sisters. Um, a lot of the children that go to our school, uh, parents have gone to the school, um, older siblings have gone to the school. So it's a very family oriented school um, and community. How, how would you say you work with teachers at the school? Uh, everything starts with the teachers for me. Uh, the teachers uh, have the inside scoop on the students. They are with the students more uh, than almost anyone else. So they see these students uh, in and out. They see them on their good days, their bad days. Uh, they know when the student's most productive um, and when they're kind of having an off day. Uh, so having that relationship with the teachers is so important to uh, my role at the school uh, because they're they're on the front lines. How have you adapted your work during this time as well? Uh, I, I would say I've been a lot more um, in touch with parents uh, because as I stated before with the when the teachers were used to be the front line seeing the student more than more than anybody else. Uh, the parent is taking that role in virtual learning. Uh, but having connection with the parent allows us to have an accurate picture of what's going on at home um, and really allows us to also get buy-in, right? Um, so if I'm talking about coping and study strategies with the student uh, in group, I can contact the parent now and say, hey, we discussed this. Um, these are some things that he should be working on or she should be working on. Um, and getting that buy-in from the parents is huge. It's been a, a really... Uh, pivotal thing for me in virtual learning. What do you see um, summer looking like for you, Ken? Uh, a lot of planning. <laughs> I think uh, just a, a lot of planning around what this reintegration is going to look like for students. Uh, I, I think it's going to be uh, really a culture shock for them in a way after kind of getting comfortable at home, being able to use the restroom, get your water, get your snacks whenever you want to, uh, to kind of be back in this structured area. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's going to be pivotal for me as a support to the school to help uh, bridge that gap, uh, to help kind of have some of those more uh, personal conversations with individual students um, around maybe frustrations that they feel coming back into the building. Um, but really planning out those groups, knowing my students before time um, and pre-planning um, kind of conversations that we're going to have um, and, and making sure that we also have those those uh, same things that we do every year, community partners, uh, yeah. connections, exposure for uh, students to reach new levels.